Well, hello there, it's me, obviously, just keeping you up to date with what I've been doing. Recently, I've been to the local candy store. Use the mask. We are very sensible or scared of death. No, it's not a real candy store. That would be bad for my teeth, right? This is far sweeter and much less destructive on your teeth, but perhaps more destructive on your wallet. I just wanted to share a little surprising find that we found at Apture. Well, how, how, how much is that set up there? This set up here. Also, before we start, I want to share a little message about the sponsors, Skillshare. An online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Woo, look at that. What camera could you get for approximately two Gs? Well, you could get the Sony a7 IV or the Nikon Z6 II. Again, pretty much the same as the Z6, but with a Mark II on the end. Or you could get this fantastic beast. Oh yes, you read that on the front, it says Leica. In fact, it says Leica twice. Yes, that's all right. For around two Gs, this is amazing bang for your buck or euros or pounds or whatever currency you use. I mean, arguably, this is not the Leica that you want to be seen to be using. It does, however, fly kind of under the radar. I mean, it is quite a big beast, and it does say Leica twice on the body, which is approximately two times more than a typical Leica aficionado would want written on the front of their camera. But I guess with a bit of sneaky finger placement, you can kind of cover one of them up, or maybe both of them, if you don't mind holding your camera like this. Honestly, it doesn't really matter about the Leica branding. The SE is all about being medium-ish format. I think the E is probably a posh way of saying economy. I don't think it stands for excellent, exuberant, extravagant. But it's all relative in the bonkers world of Leica, of course, because in 2014, this thing cost, brand new, $16,000. Yes, that's definitely cheap. In fact, I'll take two of them to take 3D photos, medium format style. Essentially, it was an economy version for rich people. So back seven years ago, it would have burnt a hole in your pocket and your bum hole and your bank manager's bum hole. But the point is, in 2021, this is available for a little over 2K. Just imagine if you bought this thing in 2014, unless you actually did buy this in 2014, in which case you probably don't need to imagine because all of your dreams in life have probably been fulfilled already. And then now, it's just 2K. You bought this thing and then suddenly somebody's just taken $14,000 out of your bank account and then chucked it in a river. I mean, that's essentially what it's like to own a like a medium format camera. But today, this thing offers a whole load of camera for not very much at all. You do get a lot of it in terms of size, but don't expect much else. Even though it looks a little bit like paint primer, I kind of like the gray color scheme of this camera. More cameras should come painted in this color. I mean, if you like camouflage, it perfectly blends in with the sky here. But even though the gray paintwork makes it look like a toy that hasn't been completely painted, there's nothing toy-like about the build quality. This thing is robust. There is a paperweight solidness to it. And in terms of body features, it goes for the typical Leica strategy of the more you pay, the less buttons you get, because there aren't really many buttons on the back at all. Check that out. You've got four multilingual buttons dotted around the screen right there. Multilingual because those buttons don't have any labels beside them. So it'll probably take you about two weeks before you actually remember what those buttons do. So yes, you've got four buttons to navigate the menu system and set everything up. And three of those buttons essentially take you to different parts of that one long menu system, which you can either use the dial to scroll all the way through, or you can just click those buttons instead to take you to different parts of that long menu system. But what else has it got? It's got a three inch screen with approximately one million dots on it, which is fine in 2021. I mean, Sony thinks it's fine, so it must be all right, right? And another boring bit, you've got a card flap that hides a CF and an SD card. And you know, that's pretty much it. This, this sounds good though. That's definitely where the money went. Maybe it took the facetiousness a tad too far, but look, it has a burst rate of 1.5 FPS, no res video recording and cross type phase detect AF point. Literally just one point. And the speed, well, my cat was bored of waiting. So yeah, the best features are nice clicky dials, white balance is cool to set and a big fat sensor. So you will get shallow depth fulfilled, nice.
A 37 megapixel larger than full frame sensor obviously gives a little edge over 24 megapixel full frame sensor in terms of detail and noise performance is quite good for a 2014 camera which carries the same tech as the 2012 Leica S. Up to ISO 1600 looks good and free from nasty noisy artifacts keeping nice sharp detail which is good because it doesn't go any higher than ISO 1600. It sounds too good to be true right? Well yeah, in a way, because there is one slight problem about the SE. Massive problem, actually. This one is the older brother of 007, Bond, you know, <laughs> 006, type 006. It has a CCD sensor. So in theory, give more film-like pictures. But the downside is there's a risk you might get corrosion on the filter, you know, the Mm. Filter which protect the sensor. M9 had that problem, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do they replace it? Do they? Because they replaced I, the M9 sensors for. They, no, not anymore. Yeah. I, I don't think like a uh, will replace replace that. But having said that, we haven't seen that many corroded mm. sensors. Do you know that'll be an artistic look in the future, like the corroded look around the outside. <laughs> yeah, artistic yeah. filter. Yeah. On Instagram yeah. three thousand. Well, if you're good with Photoshop, there's not a, too much a problem. Mm. Yeah. But I, I have a feeling we can, we can try to tackle that because we might replace sensors for M9 in the future. Really? Yes, yeah, same, similar technique. Yeah, but need to learn how to open this, well, this thing. So, um, so there's never a known problem with the, the CCD sensor? There, there was. There was. Oh. Not as bad as yeah. m9 i say we've we've known a few is that because more people owned m9s than um, i don't think so in in proportion i think this create less problem okay than, than m9 yeah so i mean mm. well but then in terms of value for money <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> nothing can be this yeah if well, you can insane. yeah if you can handle the size it's not too heavy no size, but it, it's just big yeah so it's a digital camera with a slightly uncertain shelf life but then again most digital cameras have a shelf life anyway. Sensor corrosion is not the main concern for me. I just don't feel like I'm ever going to bother using it. As Patrick said, it really is the size that would prevent anyone from going for this SE. The modest AF system, the slow burst rate are somewhat understandable for a medium format camera. The images will look great with lush Leica CCD colors, but as cheap as this is, you're going to have to really want it to use it. Otherwise, it might just end up collecting dust waiting for the day that the sensor filter does corrode. Just bear that in mind if you see this in Patrick's shop sometime soon and think about buying it. And just before we get to the end of this video, I want to talk a little bit about Skillshare. If you want to fill your head with useful stuff and learn some new skills, then you might want to check them out. They've got some superb classes. Now including ones such as MKBHD's fantastic guide on how to get going with YouTube. Now the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can explore your creativity and enjoy unlimited learning and creative exploration. Link is down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye bye.